be lying if I told you I was very irritated, Mayor. Um, so that Political theater really playing important. out in Sacramento Council Chambers this evening, and it is all over money. Several council members directed their frustration at Mayor Daryl Steinberg, accusing him of keeping money from their districts, all as political payback. CBS 13's Steve Large is live for us in Natomas with how all this played out. Steve? Live in Natomas, in a neighborhood at the center of this debate. People who live here have been waiting for a new aquatic center for years to be built right over my shoulder in this field here. After this budget battle, their wait continues. It is a vast open space in North Natomas where neighbors have been waiting for construction of this world-class Olympic-sized pool and community center. Already 70% paid for, the final $14 million in funding did not make the mayor's budget priority list. No project in Natomas did, setting off a flurry of fiery political finger pointing at the mayor in City Hall Tuesday. I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't very irritated, Mayor. And it makes me angry. Council members Jeff Harris and Angelique Ashby both represent Natomas. Neither of their districts received any project funding in the mayor's priority list. And I think it's a glaring error in judgment on the mayor's part. The council members alleging the mayor's position is political so payback the for their opposition coming? to his bonding plan. He says that's not true. Anytime you seek to make change, it's going to be a little rock and roll. It's going to be a little messy. It's going to be, there's going to be some elbows. Don't forget us. I would just the debate like brought out more than 100 speakers to this budget meeting. Lisa Pray lives in North Natomas and says she uh, left City Hall. Uh, with my fingers crossed. Uncertain about the fate of the aquatic center. Council approved the mayor's funding ideas with promises for more funding talks in the coming weeks. If those talks don't lead to more dollars, the idea of this aquatic center here. It's going to leave a hole. May keep the plans on paper only. On the bright side, for people who are hoping for this aquatic center to be built, Mayor, uh, pardon me, Angelique Ashby, Council Member Ashby, says that the council has agreed to spend the next 90 days looking for some additional funding. And if they do, in the course of those 90 days, there could still be a groundbreaking here for this aquatic center uh, by the end of the summer.